I don't mean to scare anyone, but I had in my fourth area, I was asleep one night and I felt something in my ear and I was just like freaking out because I was like, I can't hear anything until I can wake up my companion. It was like the only time I'd ever had an American companion. So we both were like, what the heck are we going to do? Like, what is happening? So like we like t nap on our, t or knock on our neighbor's door who was a member and they were like, oh, like, let us call you a tricycle. Let's get you taken to the hospital. Like, we think there's some type of bug in there, but we didn't know what it was. We get to the hospital and these people don't know what they're doing. It's like the night shift crew at the hospital and let me just tell you the hospital is like not a hospital at least by American standards it's very much like a room like the emergency room was a literal room that like you go into for emergencies like it was just this room with a table and you're just like well I hope they can help me out so they just like stick this like instrument in my ear and like find out later it's this cockroach that has wedged itself in my ear but luckily like I had, I'd been there long enough in the Philippines that it like wasn't like, I'm not saying it wasn't weird because it was definitely weird, but I was kind of okay with the, like, I, I didn't cry about it. Like, it was just kind of like, all right, whatever, like, let's get this thing out. Let's go get our baptism done. You know, like, it was funny because we get the cockroach out, like, the, so the, they ended up sending me home after taking half of it out because they couldn't get the rest. They're so, like, we might have to get it surgically removed. I'm like, yeah, okay. So we get, I get there the next morning because they tell me just to come back once it's like, you know, later in the day when the doctor's actually there. The doctor, it's so funny. I just have to say this description of him. I walk in. I'm like, who's the doctor? It's this guy in jeans and a wolf t-shirt. And I'm just like, how is, he doesn't even have a lab coat on. Like, how do I trust this man? But he, so he goes in and he like just he plucks out the rest of it in one foul swoop. There's the head. The cockroach is gone. He gives me some medicine for my ear. And then we just leave and we go and we'd have a, our baptism. And like, nobody knew about it. It was fine until some people did start knowing about it because our neighbor told everyone. And so it just, you can just imagine like word spread through my entire ward or branch at that point. And they're just like, oh my gosh, like Lord, Sister Garrett had a cockroach in her ear, ha! you know? And then the mission president finds out about it because we have to like report like that we went to the hospital and he tells everyone. Like, he uses it as a story in every single, like, district conference. So he, like, goes and speaks at, like, state conferences and district conferences. And he used it in absolutely every district and stake in the mission. So all of my former converts, all of the members from all the wards I'd served in knew that Sister Garrett got a cockroach in her ear at the very end of her mission. So that was, like, the craziest thing that ever happened to me. <laughs>